Lights are off, sir. Lights are on, sir. Fan off, sir. Please tell me again. Fan on. Fan on, sir. Hey guys, I hope you're fine. I'm fine too. Last tutorial we saw about the Jarvis on GUI completely and in this video we'll be just talking about the iron home project created by me to control my electronic appliances in my home. This project is completely expandable guys and in this video I'll be explaining you how is this project will make a great impact in our future. Okay, now let's talk less and work more. As you can see, I've used Arduino Uno, a HC05 Bluetooth transmitter plus receiver module and two relays, one for controlling my fan and one for controlling my fan. You can use as much as you want. You want your desktop lights and your room lights to be controlled through Jarvis. You can use as much relays as you want. Okay. Before starting this video, um, let me say you something. Many people ask me why you choose Arduino over ESP8266 which has a built-in Wi-Fi. You can expand it lot way better using the Wi-Fi, right? So why don't you? Honestly, I am very much concerned about the cyber security. Believe me, IoT systems are vulnerable to hackers at any cost. Any device which is connected to the internet is hackable. That's the one and only reason. I choose Bluetooth over Wi-Fi. Okay guys, this is the Arduino Co for my iron home products. And here you can see I've used the UHZ lib library to control my SSD1306. And I've utilized these variables with the pin numbers accordingly. Okay, first let's see that uh, L state is equal to true, which means a light state. And F state means the fan state. And is connected, if Bluetooth is connected, this will be true. And if Bluetooth is not connected, let's take this as false. This is the draw method we are using for drawing text inside our SST1306 display. And uh, this will be the draw small uh, method which I am using to reduce the font size. As you can see, it ends in R08 and it ends in R0, R10. Sorry. And uh, inside the void setup, we are initializing our Bluetooth uh, module which is the um, H05. It's a normal code, pin mode, pin mode under digital write all of the leds should be turning off accordingly and inside the while loop we are initializing our uhg.first page which is our uhg library and here's our code starts now if serial dot available and then inside this if loop so we are checking again if serial uh, serial dot available is greater than zero character a is equal to serial dot read we are reading the character and inside the switch statement if if the serial data is a let's turn on the lights if the case b let's turn off the light accordingly fan this is some uh, usual code and then here we are checking the bt status usually we'll be correcting the hc05 vcc ground rx and tx pin now for the status of our bluetooth we are using the status pin as you can see the state pin in the bluetooth module which indicates that if the Bluetooth is connected to any device, the Bluetooth status is 1. If the status is 0, then it is assumed that the Bluetooth is not connected to any device. We are checking if the Bluetooth is connected to any device and changing the lights, uh, uh, which means the Bluetooth light, which is the blue light which is blinking. If my Bluetooth is not connected, I'll be looping my Bluetooth. Here you can see digital right LED dot high LED and low for a delay of 
500 milliseconds if my bluetooth status is one i'm just turning on my bluetooth light and is connected is equal to true this if it's connected if my data is coming from j i'll be displaying jarvis online or if my data is coming from is admin which is that i'll be displaying my name accordingly else any other connection connection on user if else state is true the boolean variable is true then we are displaying lights on and else light off if the fan state is true we are displaying fan on and accordingly the fan off else bluetooth not connected if bluetooth is not connected then we'll be drawing the bluetooth not connected and that's it guys the Arduino code is so simple and uh, we'll jump on to our jarvis code and let's see what jarvis is doing inside the back end to control our bluetooth lights yeah guys i've opened my jarvis file as you can see this is our uh, just our jarvis which has some features which i have already included in my patreon page you can check it out if you like and just i've changed some things guys uh now you can see that self dot fan status is equal to true self dot right status is equal to true self dot is iron man home connected is equal to self dot iron connect iron home this is the method and let's go to the method where's the method yes here it's let's say print connecting iron home now we are trying to connect this is the major part if the, uh, you didn't use the try here you'll be getting the error so try self.serial.com uh, this serial is the module which we will be using to control our uh, Arduino and uh, some other serial communication things guys you can install it through the command prompt or uh, using the terminal etc I've already uploaded a video regarding the serial on Pi Firmata. You can check it out if you like. I'll give the link to the description. That video explains a lot about serial. Now, inside the serial, we are getting the COM10. Um, why should you use the COM10? I've clearly explained this in serial communication video. So, please check it out if you don't know. And then, we'll print smart home online. And then, we'll be changing the boolean variable to true. And we are writing the serial COM j j is the variable to identify the jarvis and uh, z is the variable to identify cut that's the secret code the audio will be getting to identify who is connecting that's it in the except block we'll be printing bluetooth not connected and is iron home connect is equal to false and then we are retaining is iron home connected boolean so this will take the iron home connected is equal to true if connected and false if not connected and then after connecting our iron home we'll be going to the run method and inside the run method we are calling run jarvis method and we'll go to the run jarvis method and then we are checking that if self dot is iron home connected let's update the ui movie iron man online and as you can see i'm clicking on the good evening button. boss as you can see my iron home is offline now because i didn't turn on my bluetooth and uh, okay let's close this out i sir i don't hear anything sorry jarvis i'm quitting you let's turn it on and see let's run now jarvis again connecting iron home as you can see connecting iron good home. evening boss and now smart home is online Okay, Jarvis, exit program. I'm leaving, sir. Bye. Bye. Koda. And then, using while true, etc. And inside the while true, when I say light on or lights on or turn on lights, if self plot is connected, iron home. Let's check if the iron home is connected. And then, let's go to light switch off. Uh, this is also a method which I have created already and you can see the light switch and inside this it's it will take up arguments if light status is equal to true then then let's go send the serial communication as B as you can see the B will be turning the light relay to high and digital right LED light dot low and uh, else if not light status let's send a and accept speak unable to switch fans so, simultaneously for the fan switch uh, the same is applicable in the ui part this will be so much complicated because you should hide this label and the on and off labels accordingly to get the expected output 
if you like i'll be giving the full source code in my patreon page if you like you can support me in my patreon page and you can get the source code there guys okay guys guys i've made a separate video how to create your android app to control your iron home project more easily and that video is so much powerful so please make sure that you also watch that video and thank you so much for watching guys i hope you like this video please subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends thank you so much for watching Ta -ta, bye bye have a great day